What's up, everybody? Here we are with the Optron Mini. You should already have your Optron Mini working. Let's make sure by checking out our Max app right down there. You guys follow the tutorial. Everything's working. We've got our pressure. We got our X, our Y, our Z. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to open Logic today as our DAW, as our digital audio workstation to test MIDI mapping. So let's open a Logic session in the background first. And I'll let's open a new one so we can get a nice... Uh, Nice little vibe going here. Let's save that. Software instrument is what we want because we're doing MIDI. So we'll get that there. Make the screen nice and big. And let's pick a synth. You know me, I love me some synths. Robot nature, no big deal. That's the sound of the robots. Here we go. Lead. Uh, I like gritty. I think gritty synth would be a cool thing to test with. Bam, there it is. Let's test it with the keyboard, make sure it's working. All right. There it is. All right, close that to make some room here. Okay, so back in the Max app, we want to get cracking on sending some MIDI signal out into Logic. Right now, if you test it out, there's if you look up here in the transport bar of Logic, there's no MIDI signal coming in yet. So we want to get that going. So we go here into our Hello World, and you click on External MIDI Instrument to DAW. We pull up this awesome window right there, and you should see we have an option down here to make sure that max one is our MIDI instrument. So we'll go down to max one for a second. We press from max one. Aha, we have sound. And if you wiggle this thing, you can see our vibrato going here. All right, pretty fun. So we got that working. So we wanna make sure that works. All right, now what we're going to do for now is we're going to cut off this signal for a minute because once, once, once we turn on logic mini mapping, it's going to start recognizing that signal. And we don't want that to interfere with what we're going to do today, which is going to show you how to map uh, panning. We're going to choose panning as our option. So we're going to turn this off here. For now, let's go to B25N, just an arbitrary one that will make sure we're not getting any signal. And we test it out, and logic is good to go. Okay, so now we go back here. And we want to open our MIDI out right there. So that's back in this uh, in the app, in the mini app. Go on MIDI out right there and click on that. And now we have our Optron Mini Sends. Okay, so let's come back to that in just a second. Let's go into Logic for a second. And in order to open up our MIDI mapping window, we're going to do Shift Option K. There it is, Shift Option K. And if you put it on Learn Mode, that opens right there. As you can see, no message received. That's a good thing for now. And we want to click learn. We want to click on pan because we're going to be mapping panning. So right here is where pan is. See my mouse moving. I'm going to click on pan. And there it is. That's what we're going to be sending a signal to. So that's ready to go. It's on learn mode. And now let's go out to here. And we're going to, for, for learn mode, we want to use our X axis. We want that to be what we map. So we're going to go here. We're going to enable that. And then go back into logic. That's on now. And give it a little wiggle. Oh, let's, let's press learn mode one more time just to make sure. There it is. And you can see now it's learning. Learning right there. And if we just turn it off for a quick second, let's see what that looks like. If it's a little bit crazy, oh, there it is. That works perfectly. Look at that. I'm panning left. I'm panning right. And it's looking beautiful. So now let's hear what that sounds like. Let's go back to our uh, Max app again. And let's turn our sound back on the way we had it earlier. Because if we go down here to from max one, and now we go into here, and now we can pan ourselves to the left and the right. Let me uh, see if I can actually, let me send you guys sound directly so we can hear that. So you guys can actually hear the panning. Actually, I'm not sure if it does that because I think Zoom's a mono app. So let me actually, you, know, you can just see it happening. You may not be able to hear the panning. You might be able to a little bit through the monitor. Sir. That's left, that's right. I can definitely hear that clearly. I don't know if you guys can, but I'm trusting you can at least see it and tell that the panning is officially working. So there it is. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.